Hi, my name is Natalie Leger, and I'm going to be explaining modes of inheritance using a pedigree from the TV show known as Avatar The Last Airbender. The phenotypes that we're going to be discussing in this video are blue forehead arrows and waterbending. Modes of inheritance. So the different modes of inheritance that I'll be going over are X-link dominant, X-link recessive, autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, and holandric or Y-linked. So to be able to get the correct phenotypes, Phenotypes are also known as observable characteristics resulting from the individual's genotype. We have to have the correct genotypes for these modes of inheritance, which I wrote out um, for you viewers. So beginning with our first phenotype, the blue forehead arrow, I just want to let you know that this is inheritable and not a tattoo for the sake of this example. The family members with blue forehead arrows will be Aang, Tenzin, and Janora. Here's the family pedigree that I'll be using. It's a combination of characters from Avatar The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra. Beginning with X-Link Dominant. So right away, we can see that this does not work as a mode of inheritance because Tenzin, Aang's son, does not have a dominant allele on his X chromosome. X-Link Recessive does work. All of our characters or family members of the family um, with the phenotype, the blue forehead arrow, have recessive alleles on their X chromosomes. Autosomal dominant also works. Autosomal recessive also works. Palandric does not work. First, Hakoda is a male, so he has a Y chromosome, but he is not affected by the phenotype, the blue forehead arrow. So this does not work because anyone with a Y chromosome should therefore have a blue forehead arrow. This also doesn't work for Boomy because he's not supposed to have one as well. So the modes of inheritance that worked and didn't work. On to phenotype number two, waterbending. Aang here will be considered primarily an airbender, which may be a surprise for some of you who know that he's actually a master of the four elements in the TV show. Family members who inherited waterbending. Kia, Katara's mother, Katara, Kia, her daughter, and Iki, her granddaughter. Waterbending. So, um, starting again with X-Link Dominant, this does not work because Iki does not have a dominant allele on one of her X chromosomes, at least one of them. X-Link Processive does not work because Sokka and Katara do not, um, Sokka doesn't need to be doing any waterbending, and Katara does not have both recessive alleles on her X chromosomes. Autosomal Dominant also does not work due to Iki. Autosomal recessive uh, does work, and holandric also works. So here are our modes of inheritance that worked and didn't work, and here are my citations. Thank you very much for watching.